Hey guys, me and Alex are back with another American trying video. Yeah, and for this one we're so excited because again you guys have sent us some awesome candy. We've got three boxes here. Kate went and picked them up from our yeah. PO box. I was on holiday, so cheers, I, I did the job. Luckily, I had Matt to carry them because these are so heavy. You guys have been way too kind. There is so much candy and snacks in here that we're going to be filming one a day because we can't physically eat all of no, this candy in one day. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start with our top box. So we're going to do um, Rob and Tim next and then Catherine, yours will be coming shortly after that. And let us know, do you want to see these every week? One after the other or would you like a little gap do you want to see something yeah. different in between so i'm super excited should we get into this yeah let's get into it first box let's go. oh my god feel that that's like i don't know how you carry I these just... all home from london i know <laughs> so much stuff rob and tim thank you so much Catherine, thank you so much because i have to say my favorite american candy videos are the ones where people send us yeah. subscribers send us stuff not because i like it when people send me stuff it's just purely because they know they what's have good. chosen yeah. christina maria's box was the best ever us candy we've yeah. tried and it was really? so personal as well because it was quite unique to where she's from and her childhood and yeah. it's like almost through food like understanding what someone likes and i think we've got you to thank you for all of these boxes because mm. i think people enjoyed you sending us your favorites and they've chosen to send us you know what's missing and some people in the comments saying you almost have tried all of us candy now but i don't think we have no i think, I think we've so only scratched the surface because you know some of this i've literally never seen we've got a card should we start with this yeah. first Thank you for including a card. So, hey guys, absolutely love you, your guys' channel and wanted to send newly released American candies. That's really cool. There are a few traditional candies in there that I thought you guys might like. Kate, I know that you love Swedish fish, so I included a big bag for later enjoyment. Thank you, that is literally the best. Sending lots of love from Minnesota. Lindsay and David. Oh, so thank you very much, Lindsay and David. Oh. This box looks incredible. It's, it's full to the top. It's wide, it's long, and it's deep, and it's full. Ooh. Sweet Swedish fish right there. Oh, honey, I've never seen that before. Bit of honey sounds familiar, but I don't think we have. Swedish fish assorted. This Custom baked beans. And there is a box down there. This is awesome. I can't wait to dive into this. I literally can't wait. I'm guessing these are the Swedish fish that they say I can enjoy for later. That's so sad. But there is a difference. They are mini. And it says, new look same fish they really are quite mini but i feel like they're a bit thicker it's so like, exactly the same they're not as much detail on them is no. there no must be hard to get all the detail <laughs> as good as i remember i think they're actually might might be slightly better smaller like a nice little drop hmm. also fits in your mouth nicely mm. doesn't it after trying the swedish fish last time a few people in the comments said that you can now get different flavors different and this is swedish fish brand again assorted i wonder if i'll like these the same they almost look a bit see-through these ones oh. and i wonder what's swedish about them i don't know let's grab a few okay so right. from this hand we've got the, lots of red ones we've got orange green and yellow these are chewier really chewy these other ones were soft weren't mm. they really soft I'm glad we tried the mini ones to remind ourselves, but these are a different texture. That's lemon. Did you want to try the other half? Yeah. Mm. Not as chewy the lemon and bad no. ones. They're good though, aren't they? Mm. Mm. That orange is incredible. Lemon and lime. I'm not a big fan of lemon and lime sweet, so I would love a pack of the red and orange ones, please. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if they do any of that. Absolutely delicious. And I see another Swedish fish bag here. Oh yeah, same pattern. What are these? So these are Swedish fish. Mini tropical. Mini tropical. How cool. Wow. Does it oh. say what flavor? And this is new. Oh, we've got pina colada, tropical island, peachy punch, and uh, passion, passion fruit. Passion fruit, that is awesome. Lindsay and David said they were adding in some newly released American candies and these say new on it. So um, let us know down below if you've tried these yet. Smell that. Oh, wow. Smells I like you're at a cocktail these. bar. Mm. Are these a different texture again? Yeah, these are really soft like the first ones. Wow, so there's no like face on these or anything. Whereas the other ones, they've got little faces. Mm. 
These are a completely different texture. They look like a different, they almost look milky, don't they, a bit? Mm. But they're not. They're a bit more like jelly babies. They aren't are. They? These are so nice. They've got more of a bite to them than a chew. Mm. I like those. those I would flavors. actually give those a nine. Oh, I didn't even mark the other ones. I would give these a nine. I'm going to give the assorted ones eight because it was only really the orange ones that I loved, but those mini tropicals are a 10. I'm going to give the assorted seven and those are nine because they are so good. The flavors in those are incredible. And the texture. If you've not had, oh, and the texture. If you've not mm. had those yet, give them a try. What do you reckon to trying these Bitto Honey? Yes, please. Would you like a Bitto Honey? Bitto Honey. I love how it's in a box. I always love that. Also, I would be intrigued because these were all literally sent around the same time, aren't yeah. weren't they? I wonder if there's any duplicates in here. Yeah. Oh, these are interesting. They come in little. Oh my word. Now this looks familiar. I feel like I've seen this before. Oh wow. So these are like individually wrapped, like a light, almost coffee caramelly color. Over here in the UK, we would have these in a plastic bag like the Swedish fish. Yeah. Ready? It's Cheers. quite soft though. Oh, yeah. I reckon it's, we're having a bit of a heat wave in the UK, aren't we? Mm. So I reckon they're a bit soft because of that, but I reckon you can have these hard or soft. Oh, really chewy. Yeah. That got a really nice flavor. It's like, it's really caramelly and quite rich. I doubt there is any in there, but it is slightly coffee-ish. Mm -hmm. Definitely it's, has a bit of a coffee flavor, but I don't think there is. I and, think that's a honey. Oh, maybe it is. And is Tootsie Roll taffy? It's got that sort of same vibe, hasn't it? I didn't really like the Tootsie Roll, but this no, is this much... is great. <laughs> this has got really great flavour. <laughs> Doing it, you. Doing it, me. I'll give that an eight. I'll give that an eight. The only thing that puts me off is I don't like having to chew too much. Yeah, how chewy it is. Mm. Do you know what this would be great for? What? On a plane. Yes, you know, when before you're taking on the sweet. Yeah. Yeah, that'd she be really good. Pop. Right. Can we try these, please? Yes. These are so interesting. More candy in a box, and I don't think Kate's going to like these, because these <laughs> are Boston it. baked beans. And that's so interesting, because apparently they're candy-coated peanuts. Oh, we they look Boston, cool, look. Yeah. Oh, they look really crunchy. Yeah. They almost look like jelly beans. Oh, no, beans. jelly belly. Yeah. Oh, whoa. It's funny, because I would... Oh, oh what? <laughs> Although I read it and it said candied, I just wasn't expecting I wasn't ex that. Yeah. Because I've had... Chocolate covered peanuts. I was peanuts. literally just about to say the same thing. We're thinking exactly the same thing. We've had oh. chocolate coated peanuts, but never this sort of coated no. peanuts. They are crunchy. They're really well, crunchy. I like it. I like that crunch. I would give those actually um, a seven. I think I'd give them a seven as well, actually. Ooh. Can I pick next? You pick next. This. I is used it to love. It's the biggest thing. No, I used to love stuff like this when I was younger. It's this is Rainbow Nerds Rope. So we've tried Nerds a few times now. I think I've even had something like this before. And this is a tear and share. And... Oh, it's missing. <laughs> yeah. I, where is, where it? is it? It's like a bag of Chris, you open it, you've got air. Yeah. yeah. Okay, is that is tiny compared to the... But why is that half of it... Oh, missing. They're not all stuck on that well. Why is half of it missing from the tray? Oh, uh, sugar tax. <laughs> yeah. I reckon it used to be longer. Oh, it's oh, like a bit of jelly. jelly rubbery stuff in the middle. And then it's just got loads of nerds attached and to it. I... No, what's that thing you like hang up at Christmas? Tinsel. Tinsel. It's like tinsel, <laughs> but made out of nerds. Oh, like the... Wow. That's amazing. That's really good. You almost can't taste the thing in the middle. It's almost there to bind it together. It's, it's just there purely as a vessel. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. That was delicious. I'm giving that a nine. I'm going to give that an eight. The thing is, I always say I don't like sweets. But or... you enjoyed that. Yeah, and I would still probably, if I had a choice, not buy them because mm -hmm. I'd prefer a lime bar. <laughs> As I recently found out, I, I like still lime like bars. Lime bars. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about those, but I would never buy sweets. Those but... lime bars are going to be in our British candy box next month, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so. so. if you want to buy yourself a British candy box, we package it up every month with some of our favorite treats in. It's a little, uh, little plug. Little plug here. Can we'll leave the link there. up there and down below. Check it out. Speaking of sweets, we've got three more things up here, and then we have Ooh. an amazing box, but we'll get to that in a minute. Two lots of Sour Patch Kids. We've got, oh wow, we've got Sour Patch Kids Fire. These are the flavors. Berry Blaze, Ooh. Tropical Flame, 
angry watermelon oh and apple fever. They sound delicious and these look like it's a new bag. So this bag is also new. Yeah. Oh, so these are passion fruit, tropical twist, pineapple and uh, paradise punch. Ooh. America has lots of punch flavors, don't they? Yeah. We don't really do punch here in the UK. I'm so excited. But it's like in America, in films, a lot of this is based on films, but you know when you have your prom? Yep. The you have a table with refreshments. Yeah. And what's on that table? Punch. Yeah. Always punch. Wow. Mmm. Strong I flavor, like these but nice. because they're not, they're sour, but they're not like. Mmm. Mm. It's enough they? that it's like. Oh, these are delicious. That orange tropical mm. one was delicious. Let's try the punch. Well, mm. pineapple is good. I actually really like that punch. Mm. Sometimes I don't like the punch flavours. Tropical. It's like a little one, a little white one. I'm not sure I've had orange yet. Passion fruit. Well, mm. that is pineapple-y, isn't it? Mm. Do you not think these taste like the texture of Swedish fish mini tropical? Yes. I wonder not how... only are Sour Patch Kids from the same manufacturer as Swedish fish, but they're the exact same candy except for the sour sugar that someone commented this. Uh, I'm so glad I searched this because you would have been like kicking me in the camera or something. I read about this. So they are the same candy, but coated in sour. And a different shape. They also have extreme sour patch kids, which are not from For the Faint Heart. Mm. What are they good? What's this one? Sorry, fire. Yeah, berry blaze. Oh, that is quite hot. <laughs> I thought that was just a sa <gasps> <laughs> I'm a karma. It's, it's no scotch Ooh. bonnet, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Alex eat a scotch bonnet yet? Click the link up there. <laughs> I literally couldn't have done that. Oh my word. These are so fiery. I want to try an angry watermelon though. They've got such an art. They're surprisingly- like burning up. No, it's just been hot here today. <laughs> They're surprisingly hot. I didn't think they were gonna be, have that much punch. Mm. They are fiery. You get a bit middle, mm. but then it's like, carries on, doesn't it? Mm. But even though I'm not the greatest, um, I can't really take much heat, can no. I? Get out of the kitchen. They really cover your whole tongue, but actually they're really nice, aren't they? Mm. Wow, those, I don't know if I marked the tropical ones. The tropical ones are a 10 out of 10. Tropical are a nine for me. A nine, and the fire ones? Eight. I'd say they are an eight. Because I'm more likely to enjoy just the tropical ones yeah. rather than the spicy ones. That's the thing, you want to enjoy your sweets, mm. and to me, heat isn't as enjoyable. Do you know what might be quite good, is having two bags at the same time. Mm. I don't mean finish them, I just mean, you know, having so one So you can have a bit yeah. of... Um, one with a bit of spice, one with that. After reading that thing, I can really tell that those Swedish fish tropical are literally the same, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, last one on top of the box is Mike and Ike. Now we all know I enjoyed my Mike and Ike's last video. You love video. Mike and Ike's. These are Sourlicious Fruit Punch. They See? do sound great, fruit punch. fruit punch. Chewy sour fruit flavored candy. So we've got sour raspberry, sour green apple, sour citrus, sour wild cherry, sour watermelon. Cardboard box into a little plastic bag. It looks like you've got a bit of cake mix in there. I can really smell the cherry. Mm, raspberry boss. Oh, What's that? It's quite sour, isn't it? Yeah. I, I want think a raspberry, this is the uh, sour wild cherry, this one. Is that cherry or is that raspberry? I think that's a raspberry. Well, that is a sour cherry. Yeah. Mm. I might even say these are more sour than Cabbage Patch Kids. Would you say? Mm. I don't think so. What do you think? These are more cutting, I think. And it goes quicker. Some of those flavours are really nice. Mm. But I usually love watermelon, but I didn't enjoy that. I kind of tasted like I'd rolled up a I think that was sour watermelon. A play a play like lipstick that you used mm. to like you know when you're younger, a cheap one. And it's like no. you've had a bite of it. <laughs> no. No, oh yeah. <laughs> It probably wasn't, we probably should have done these before the the Sour Patch Kids because I absolutely love the Sour Patch Kids and they're not as, they're not as good. I think the Mike and Ike original ones that I tried are better than that. These are a six. A six. I really don't think they're as good as Yeah, they. I would say they're a six as well. That watermelon one was so weird. Yeah. 
Um, still nice though, I still really like the other and I ones. I still prefer the texture to the other I'd, ones. Yeah, I prefer the other ones. This is awesome. So we have a box inside of a box. I wonder what the difference is, because this... Oh my god, that's full. This box is so nice, it says blessed on the top. Super and, blessed. Um, I will, hashtag blessed. <laughs> hashtag blessed. I'll be able to use this for other little bits and stuff, so that's really nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll definitely be using this. So we'll be able to remember this video forever. And inside it says loved. Ah, now I wonder, that's all very sweety. This looks more like snacks. Oh, chocolatey and, and snacky. Yeah, although there's Skittles down here. Oh, right, yeah. Right. Oh. I think I've just spotted here <gasps> goldfish, but not just any goldfish. These are flavor blasted, slamming sour, sour cream, cream and, and onion. onion. Someone told us to try these. They look so good. Do you know what? Rhett and Link have tried these on, they did a video about trying sour cream and like chai flavor. Oh, really? And they were saying like, how real is the sour cream and chai flavor? Anyway, I saw them on there. We absolutely loved the goldfish, didn't we? We love goldfish. And I love sour cream and onion flavor. So I'm really excited to try these. Because in, in the, <laughs> In the comments, we have mixed feelings. Oh, yeah. I always say these are perfect for having with a beer, and pe some people go, oh, you can't do that, they're for kids. Yeah, so And other people say, yeah, they're that's perfect. perfect. And we love things that are sour cream and onion, don't yeah. we? Yeah, like smell? sour cream and chive. They and... look so cute! Oh, they Let's smell have a handful. delicious. They smell so good. And gross. I'm so glad that it's like a savory flavour. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Straight in. Oh, wow. They still taste kind of cheesy though, but is that the texture that I'm linking to the cheese? Yeah, they are quite cheesy. Oh, one second. That didn't actually sound that loud, did it? No, it didn't. Brewdog Clockwork Tangerine. These are absolutely delicious, but considering it says flavour blasted, I don't think they're that strong in flavour. Oh. But they're really nice. I don't get a lot of onion. I guess it, like a bit of onion. But like you say, they're more cheesy. Mm. Maybe that's the sour cream. So they've got little um, faces can, as normal. I can confirm they do go good with beer. <laughs> they are delicious, but... I could just eat these all night. Mm. I wouldn't necessarily say they're like flavour blasted. No. So what would you give them then? Um, I'd give those an eight. I'd give those a nine. I thought you would. Those. Brook or Brockside dark chocolate crunchy clusters very medley mm. flavour. These seem like a more expensive brand to me. Yeah. They seem a bit more posher or something that you'd find in Whole Foods, something like that, do you not think? But I feel like when we've been to Ralph's, they have like a lot oh, of aisles yeah. with these kind of things on, these kind of like, almost like a breakfast bar, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it almost seems like breakfast. Oh, whoa, not what I was expecting or breakfast clusters, shall we say. Excuse me. Oh, these look great. They're like little clusters. Yeah. Now, I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, so let's see. They're yeah, really good. Wow. Yeah, so good. That right, is delicious. Crispy multi grains and very medley flavour and smooth dark chocolate. That dark chocolate is really nice. It's not I would love bitter. these at the cinema. Oh, yeah. They're it's so good. Really good. And you get little pockets of the fruit. Mm. Wow. These are incredible. They're so good. 10 out of 10 for me. Mm. 10 out of 10 for me. They are the best thing I didn't think I'd like. When I looked at those and I saw dark chocolate, I was like, oh, because I saw all oh, they're completely covered in mm. dark chocolate. They are delicious. They're so good. I, do you know what I've just seen in here? A whatchamacallit. I know, so I just saw that. So many people have told us to try this. It looks so good. It's it like, looks a, like cartoon. a cartoon. And what a great name for it. A whatchamacallit. I'm going to have a whatchamacallit. Oh, I love that bar. Whatchamacallit? <laughs> So, deliciously crispy, watch them, I call it, made with chocolate, peanut flavoured crisp, ooh, peanut flavoured crisp, and caramel. That sounds so good. Because when you suggest things, I Google search them so I can see the photo. Ooh, oh, nice. wow. Oh, a bit like a toffee crisp. It is like a toffee crisp. And also, what was the other bar? Oh, what was it? Take five or something? No. Three grand. Three grand. Or mm. oh, five grand. Is it three grand? Oh, three musketeers, five grand. Mm. That's so good. Mm. It's like a toffee crisp, but like with a slight flavor. nutty flavour, yeah. But there's no peanuts in there, is it? It's just flavoured. It's Little probably crisps, like a peanut butter. And this is why I think I'm growing on it, because that's not too much peanut butter for me. That's good. I'd rather have this than a Reese's peanut butter cup. 
really nice. That's so good, isn't it? I own that a nine. I'm giving that a 10. I thought it would. I think that's as good as those clusters. Another thing I can't believe I've never seen before. I can't believe there's so much more stuff still in there. 100 grand. Oh, 100 grand bar. <laughs> Is it 100 grand bar? 50 grand. I think so, should I search? God, that's expensive, isn't it? Got it's 100 ticket. grand. <laughs> The fact that before we were like, oh yeah, yeah, 50 grand. <laughs> no, but to, to start with, I was like three, three. grand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got two bags here. <gasps> no, I think we should go for these next. From the same make. Ooh. Brookside Dark Chocolate Vine... Oh, Vineyard inspired. Vineyard Shouldn't inspired. Chardonnay... Oh, for goodness sake, you read it. <laughs> okay. This is my area of expertise. Brookside Dark Chocolate Vineyard inspired Chardonnay grape and peach flavours with other natural flavours. It's like nothing I've ever seen before in my I life. I really like these packets. Ooh. Are they mini? No, they're like balls. They're kind of like the size they of look, whoppers, would you say? They look like mini minstrels. Yeah. Mini in minstrels. About the same size as a minstrel. What is with us today? Oh, well. They do mm, have really soft centres. Mm. Oh, they're almost like. Really well, fruity. Almost like, um. Ow, I just bit my chin. Like a dried cram cranberry coated in chocolate. That sort of vibe. Brookside are making some delicious snacks. Yeah. There is much more dark chocolate on these ones though than those ones. Yeah, and I'm loving it. Me not so much as those because, oh. but I like this dark chocolate. Can I put that back in there or I don't know what dark chocolate, if it's their own dark chocolate. Probably. But it's so good. The peach inside is absolutely delicious. And the grapes. That's really nice. I just wish those didn't have as much dark chocolate on. So good, I'm gonna have to have a more. couple more. And you know what that means when you get a couple more. It's a... It's a 10. Really? Mm. I'm, I'm gonna give that an eight. Okay, so we've got two more bags that kind of look like this. These look awesome and these also look more fancy and posh, don't you think? Snappers. 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 Crafted snacks, snappers, milk chocolate, pretzels and caramel, <laughs> and milk chocolate. A <laughs> hundred years of family recipes. From our family to yours, Mark, Dana, and Chris Edwards. Right. But these look really good, don't they? I love the branding and the packaging. It says Whoa. snacks crafted for you. Chocolate. How did they know? These they look smell like a, great. a lovely cinema treat. And again, we've never seen these. Never. I love things that are like stuck together <gasps> by chocolate. Oh, really soft. That milk chocolate is melting. Is it not tempered? Oh. Mm. It is chewy. Oh, wow. Very chewy. And the like salty savouriness of the pretzel is amazing. Those pretzels are really salt and sweety, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, caramel yeah. is really nice and chewy. And then that chocolate's nice, isn't it? Mm. It is like the perfect little bite, mm. isn't it? Mm. I'm gonna give those an eight. I'm gonna give those an eight as well. They're mm. really nice though. But really we don't have that many pretzels over here, no. do we? And I prefer, what's that um, make we have? Oh yeah, I don't know what it is, but their sour cream and Their sour cream chive. and chive ones are delicious. We should and put them in our And they really box. taste like sour cream and chive. But like the original ones, I'm not the biggest original pretzel fan. Are you eyeing up my little bite that I left? No, I'm eyeing up what else is in the box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go on to the crunchers? Now these are interesting. Now we didn't like Hershey's normal chocolate, but we liked the cookies and cream, didn't we? No, but do you know what I think these sound like? What? These sound like a football team that Hershey's sponsor. Yeah. The Hershey's Crunchers. crunchers. Hey. Welcome to Hershey's Crunchers. <laughs> oh my god, these are tiny. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried. Although Hershey's and oh, Hershey. Hershey's. <laughs> Hershey. Hershey. <laughs> Excuse me, who's Hershey? <laughs> Do you know a Hershey around here? Mmm. I was I like wrong. These. They're delicious. Do you know what the. <laughs> There's this thing on YouTube which is like, will it cereal or something? It's like a. You just pour milk on it. A challenge. And it's like you pour milk on a load of things on and it's everything. like. Does it cereal? If you put these in a bowl and poured milk over, wouldn't that be nice? Mm, I really that? like these and I really love the crunch, but I always think the creamy kind of flavor is just a bit too sickly for me. Mm, I get just what like you mean, but I really love these. Now I'm gonna go 10 out of 10. <laughs> I can't believe I'm giving a Hershey's product 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Really? Yeah. They're delicious. 
Speaking of Reese's Pieces. Oh yeah. Oh, well, Reese's. <laughs> um, last time Alex and I tried Reese's peanut butter cups, can't remember what video it was, we'll leave a link there. We kept saying for some reason, Reese's Pieces. pieces. Oh, it's like it just rolls off cups. the tongue. Pieces are newer. Anyway, and so loads of people commented saying, that's not pieces, you try cups. Yeah. But we did know that. We were yeah. just mm, stupid. Anyway, now to really blow your minds, <laughs> this is a Reese's peanut butter cup with pieces inside. Ah. So it's a peanut butter cup stuffed with pieces. pieces. Do you get two in here? That's blowing my mind because I didn't even know that was a thing. Are you excited? Do you love I'm these? I'm excited, I love them. Are we just going to do got one two between? little ones? Yes, please. I love that you get a little, I'll right, have that tiny bit. <laughs> So what are their pieces, like little um, Smarties? Yeah, they're almost like little Peanut M butter Smarties and Smarties. Yeah. But I think they must have... Oh, I think it's literally filled with peanut butter, mm -hmm. the pieces, in a candy shell. It's nice to give it that little bit of crunch inside. Oh. Because they're soft. Right, this is so one. much better than mm. a normal one. Really? Mm -hmm. Having that little crunch and candy flavour is so much better. Mm. I really like this, yeah. I'm not sure it's better, but it is good. It's better. I like both. What do you prefer? Normal peanut butter cup or peanut butter cup with pieces in? Or oh, you'd rather just have it without? No, I'm not saying I'd rather. I'm just saying they're both as good mm. as each other. That's the thing in America. I feel like they do one thing and then they do like another thing. And people like both of them. So they're like, let's put them together. Together, yeah. Because people like this one and people like this one. So people are going to like it's them like together, It's like all right? of those chocolate bars now with like, you know, dairy milk and... Yeah. They've got now Oreo in it. They've yeah. got Dime in it. It's like the chocolate version of a, a collaboration video. Yeah. Right. Did you fancy anything particular in there first? Yeah. And I reckon we should try this yes. cinnamon toast crunch. I've never tried cinnamon toast. Crunch. I don't. I wonder if the called. name is Cinnamon Toast or if it's called Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Is it always a crunch or is it crunch because it's yeah. in a bar? We've got bars kind of like this in the UK, like Rice Krispie bars and mm. the, the fro frosted flake bars. I feel like that was a bit of a phase. And yeah. Do people still have? Them? I reckon, but I reckon it was a bit of a phase. It seems like a phase. But I reckon it's also because we've grown up. I reckon people at school still have them. Yeah, because when they first came Ooh. out, I used to have them because I used to hate breakfast. Cheers. So I'd have like a cereal bar Bar's on the way dead. to school. That smells so oh, cinnamon. So Doesn't it smell like when you're in America mm -hmm. and you're in a hotel, yep. breakfast? Yeah. Interesting. Mm. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of that, no. no. I think I'm like a five on that. I'd say six. I'd probably rather have like a Rice Krispie bar or a thingy bar. Mm. It's just the cinnamon's a bit too much, isn't it? Yeah. Should we have some... Hazelnut. Yes. Hazelnut? Anyone for some hazelnut? And this says in the corner, it says Nabisco. Yeah. I've never seen that before. I have seen that before. I don't know I've if I've seen that, that one other thing. Surely, are they the people who own Oreo or are they the people who make the hazelnut? Ooh, maybe. I just, I'm excited. I think this is going to be delicious. Ooh. If it's not delicious, I'm going to be really upset. I wonder if Oreo have changed their brand. Who, what's that? You know, the that people that make it. They've been bought Because up. Nabisco is an American manufacturer of cookies and snacks. You may not be the biggest fan of hazelnut. No. But you do prefer the the white. Oh, the yeah. I biscuit. hadn't even actually realised that yet. With the chocolate on so the inside. So these are the golden Oreos. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's soft. Mm. Almost like the middle of a Kinder Bueno. Mm. Do you agree? Yeah, because that's my hazelnut. Yeah, and I like Kinder Buenos. That's very nice. Oh, it's literally so soft I could squeeze it out. I reckon it's because it's hot here as well. Because mm. mm. before, I put Nutella on a biscuit. Yeah, malted milk. Probably shouldn't have, but I did, and it was so good. So that is literally that. These are probably the best Oreos that aren't traditional that I've tasted in a while. Really? Golden. Or double stuffed original. Golden Oreos are definitely mm. my favorite. Um, and they're actually surprisingly nice, considering I'm not the massive Nutella fan. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, they're actually quite nice. I'll give them a seven. I'm going to give them a ten. Huh? Yeah, because they're as good as these. Mm. And these are a ten. No, I'd, I'd prefer them better, actually. And they're as good as these. I think these were a ten as well. But they're actually really nice, and I love golden Oreos. Do golden Oreos do double stuffed? I'm pretty sure they I do. really want to try the birthday cake ones. I still haven't tried those. Really? Yeah, apparently they're delicious. Four things left. Shall we stick with more biscuit and go yeah. here? Because I feel like this might have biscuit in. So this is a Nestle Chunky. 
milk chocolate with peanuts and raisins. And it's almost like a it's really like a square. small. Oh, I thought it was a kick, like a mini Kit Kat, but there's four squares in there. Oh, are there? Mm-hmm. It says your favorite, the good stuff made in the USA. The good stuff made in the USA. With globally sourced ingredients. It says made in the USA, little asterisks with globally sourced ingredients. <laughs> yeah, but they put those ingredients yeah. together in the USA. Um, how funny. I reckon that's like Nestle saying, because you don't really yeah. see it on anything else. This almost looks like Three Musketeers, kind of. Do you not think? Yeah. Packaging. There's okay. Three Musketeers made by Nestle on that. Well, looks like it would it's be. It's so funny. Why would you make a, a bar that's just got four little squares? Um, yeah, why so small? Why so small? Just. Hmm, that's good. When we were younger, when we used to go to my nan and granddad's house, we used to have this pot of, do you remember, nuts and raisins? And sometimes like little bits of chocolate. No. Used to, it was like my granddad's little mix. Really? Mm. Like a little trail mix thing? Yeah. No, I don't know. Quite good. Okay. We used to sneak in and... I am not the biggest fan of that. That Nestle doesn't really taste like our Nestle, does it? It does taste different. No. And um, oh, it's got peanuts and raisins in, which both are my favourites. I just love chocolate with, with raisins. With peanuts and raisins, yeah. Well, first off, I love chocolate with raisins. Yeah. You can't beat that. Those but raisins then, with nice. a little bit of nut, just to add a bit of texture. Bit of crunch. Bit of crunch. Bit of crunch. So good. Hence the name Crunchy. I don't think there is. It's oh, as good chunky. as the chunky. It's with the chunky boys out there. I don't think it's as good as the Oreos or these things. I'm gonna go nine. I'm gonna go five. <laughs> this thing, although I don't like Hershey's, I find quite exciting. Yeah. What is it? So it is... Caramelised cream. I feel like... Peanuts and pretzels. I could be miles off, but this reminds me of a bar we used to have here in England. Caramac. I... Yeah, maybe. It was like... It was like red like with... burnt butter kind of... Yes, like colour. And look at the back. Is it like arranged in different things? Yeah, it almost looks like blocks of gold. Sweet meat salty, creamy meat crunchy. <laughs> oh, it actually is gold. Cheers. Oh, I just quite like that. It is like that thing I was saying about, isn't it? Apart from the other kind peanuts of. and pretzels. You can't taste if that is like white chocolate or like. Yeah. Can it... All I can taste is like little caramelized peanuts and pretzels. Yeah. That's quite nice, actually. I don't like that. You don't? It's what I don't like about white chocolate. It's sickly. It, it's I don't so think sickly. I could eat a whole bar of that, but that might be because I don't look think at I... our table. <laughs> <laughs> the, the funny thing is, though, isn't it amazing? Nature created things we should eat colourful to make us want to eat them, right? Yeah. Like apples, bright red. Yeah. Bananas, yellow. Yeah. You know, you following my I'm following, trail. yeah, yeah. And isn't Cucum it funny? Cucumber, green. Companies who want you to eat sweets. They make them bright. Make them even brighter. <laughs> <laughs> you always <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I've never seen you, you like want an do apple? that face. Well, this is brighter. <laughs> yeah. We've got a green apple in yeah. there. Oh, this one's really tangy. Speaking of, oh my word, speaking of bright, <laughs> these are called bright side. And these have a new on them. So these yeah, must, must be, be new. Bite sized candies. Watermelon, yum. Paradise punch. Tangerine. Kiwi banana. Pink oh lemonade. my word, can you believe it? Clockwork Tangerine. Now me and Kate are both going to test to see which, which tastes one? more like tangerine. tangerine. Brewdog Clockwork Tangerine. And I can confirm that does not taste like a tangerine yeah, at does. all. Alex says it tastes like a tangerine. Well, I don't know what tangerine you've been eating. Now usually I'd hate the green ones, but the green ones are watermelon. And I like watermelon. the colours of these. They're like slightly pastely, aren't mm. they? Whoa. Paradise Punch has got cherry in it. Probably. Mm. Well, it's green. Pink lemonade, watermelon. Pink lemonade almost tasted alcoholic. <laughs> pink lemonade's great. Mm. I wish our green and yellow over here were more flavours rather mm. than lemon and lime. That's mm. so boring when it's just like lemon and lime, isn't it? My favourite has been watermelon so far. You have the weirdest habit of just leaving bits over there. Why don't you just put them back in the pack? <laughs> I'm going to give them an eight. I'm going to give those a nine and a half. Really? If it wasn't for the fruit punch, they'd be ten. Really? Mm-hmm. Really nice. I've got to talk in terms of sweets here. Yeah. You know, compared oh, yeah. to the others. Really nice. And I really like the, the branding. 
Now, on to our last one. Hubba what Bubba. Is it? Crush strawberry. Oh, that sounds good. Is Crush, crush a drink? Crush is a make of drink, isn't it? But is usually it? it's orange. I haven't really seen the Crush store. Hold on. Is Crush one of the makes at like 7 Eleven? You can get the big frosted drinks. Oh. Are we going a piece each? Yeah. I'm going to do a bubble competition. <laughs> so much of it. Mm hmm. And the flavour just like completely takes over your mouth mm -hmm. at the beginning and then it just goes. It doesn't need to be so that much flavour. How do kids chew this? With their mouths. Oh, their mouths are smaller than adults. Mm. I'm less afraid. Whoa, I'm really smack about lips. <laughs> I like Katrina. I enjoy doing that sometimes. Mm. Still so tangy. Whoa, flavour is delicious. I just don't want to say anything because I'm in the, like, the honeymoon period at the moment. <laughs> that won't last long in the government. Mm. Whoa. Oh, we've got a bit of flavour. Mm. That's a 10. That's a 10? <laughs> yeah. You love that. We've got... Uh, 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 that's a definite 10. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to go 9. I, just... I wouldn't like usually pick up Hubba Bubba. I'd no. pick up like a spearmint, mint. But every time I have a Hubba Bubba, it's excellent. It fills the mouth, the flavour is pungent, the bubbles are great, although not so great this time. <laughs> <laughs> like I like having chewing gum and be able to, like the flavour, yeah, usually I'm minty true. stays but for a bit longer. But these are like a dessert. Like really, you eat a bag of Skittles like that, so I wonder mm. if kids, there are some kids out there that are like, chomp it, go on, put it in the really, bin, chomp it. I wonder. Maybe like the professional bubble blowers. Mm. Oh, I'm they were delicious. Nine. I'm going to go They're good though, don't get me wrong, they were good. And the crush flavour. At first they tasted really artificial, did you not think? I just thought but it was really then get into good. it, it was really nice. Thank you so much, Lindsay and David. You sent us far too much stuff. They were all absolutely delicious. Very kind of you to do that, so thank you very much. Yeah, so much stuff, and so much stuff I've never seen before. No. Which that's, is awesome. That's what I love so much about this box. So many different brands and new brands that I've never seen, mm. which are probably really old for them in yeah. America. And I love the fact that, yes, we've tried Oreos and Goldfish, but the fact that you've put different flavours in for flavors. us to try. And all the new different sweets as well, so thank you so much. Yeah, and to say thank you, we're going to send you one of our ultimate British candy boxes to you. And we hope you like trying our British candy. Yeah, really can't wait to hear what you think about it. We just want to send it to show how much we appreciate you sending us an awesome box. Yeah, so it's not just one way, it's a two way We're thing. Back to you. And if there's anyone else out there who'd like to try our British candy, then click the link. Yeah, we'll leave one up there and down below. Did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that. That was one of my favorite boxes, I think. Yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. I know. But there's so much still left to try and I can't wait for our next three boxes. So keep an eye out in your subscription feed for those videos. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you very soon. Bye guys. See ya. Oh.